Hello, the Lagmam family. Welcome to our live stream. In case you are new here, just be most welcome. This is the right place to be. My name is the Lagmam Jabra Yanchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia, and mostly I create awareness on what happens in the Middle East. Sometimes I do help those ladies who are stuck in the Middle East, domestic workers, victims of human trafficking. I also create awareness on modern day slavery and human trafficking. If you have lost your loved one, you don't know where to start from, you can reach me out. I will give you direction. If you are working without pay, you can reach me out. If your agent has blocked you, you can reach me out. They have to unblock you. That is their work. You are their responsibility. You've seen me. I'm so devastated because of the death of this girl. This is a, a girl 30 years old. No kid, nobody, nothing. She just died. Uh, and I just want to share this information because more is coming out concerning the death of this lady. And the agent is trying now to come up. She can go to any media to cover herself and say how she is concerned. But now the body is missing. The body of this girl is missing. And we can't just keep quiet like nothing has happened. The family is so worried about you wapi. When they try to talk to Lucy as an agent, she's not cooperative. But when when Akipata time a pay a chance kwa media and I was cooperative. She's not cooperative at all. When somebody has died, an agent kuandika barua kuenda kwa foreign affairs ndio wanze kupatilia mwili yeye ndiye akona hiyo nguvu yeye ndiye akona hiyo authority that is why i tell most of the ladies once you go to the middle east make sure you share the information of the agency yenye imekupeleka pale sijasema unaenda kukufa but in case of anything inasaidia familia yako so ukiwa umesafiri kwenda middle east upeane details kwa marafiki zako kuna there are some people who have shared with me we we formed groups kuna watu wa Lebanon we have a group ya Lebanon kuna watu wa Saudi Arabia group yetu imekuwa ikienda for one year and four months this is the fourth month sasa at least you make friends and share the details najua kuna watu wamejificha kutoka nyumbani you don't want your family to know where you are but if you make friends when you mpatana kwa group inakuwa rahisi mna share information at least ukiwa na shida unapata mwenzako ako na information if you've listened to how this friend of me did was explaining she reached me out this lady god bless her what walikuwa na shanga huyu msichana kujinyonga naye ajinyonga because kama angejinyonga ile matesa alikuwa anapitia angejinyonga kitambo huyu msichana ali ali Simu zake zilikuwa zimechukuliwa. Alikuwa amechukuliwa simu, alikuwa amepewa simu yao. Hiyo ndio tabia ya Waarabu mostly. Walikuwa wamempea simu yake ya, yao lakini ilikuwa inatumika tu WhatsApp peke yake. Yaani yani Messenger sio WhatsApp. So penye angeingia tu ni Facebook. So all of a sudden akaanza kupokea data nyingi kwa siku. Akaanza kupokea data. So anytime akijaribu ku enter any information inamwambia ina accept to Google policy yeye yeah, ana accept. Sasa wakakuja wakamwambia siku moja wakamwambia wakamwambia you have shared our account. You have shared our account. Meaning sasa sijui kama hiyo simu ilikuwa na account yao. So yeye yeah, alikuwa anapewa data kama za mtu mwenye anafanya media. Nilikuwa najaribu kuelezea hiyo information ile alikuwa anatuma na watu wako wanaelewa. Anaambiwa yeye yeah, ni media discover. Sasa yani yeah, every day data zinaingia nyingi kwa simu yake na hakuna kitu hata akijaribu kupiga yani akijaribu ku press kitu ati ana google inamwambia accept google policy sasa yeye alikuwa na accept yeye sasa hakuwa anaelewa so akakujua na boss wake akamwambia you have shared our account to the media and this is a police case unajua sasa kama uelewi saa zingine unajua sio kila mtu amesoma by the way na sio kila mtu ana understand mtu anamaanisha nini so hao walikuja wakaanza kumtreaten wakamwambia you have shared our information to media and now you are a, a, a media discover hiyo kitu walikuwa naiandika sana kwa hizo messages zilikuwa zinaelewa akaambia rafiki yake ah watu wanasema mimi ni 
ni, ni nguvu wa media discover i think umeona hizo message vile zilikuwa zinasoma sasa yule mzee anamwambia hiyo ni nini hebu nipigie simu ile anamwambia siwezi kukupigia anytime akijaribu kupiga messenger ile 4g inapotea sasa akawa anahangaika aka text huyo msichana akamwambia ambia lucy niko na hii shida nisaidie lucy ni agent mama wa yasmin agency huyu madam ndiye anafaa kwanza atupe mwili I need to write her number here kwa sababu saa zingine kuna vitu zingine zinaumiza sana. Huyu Lucy namba yake iko hapa kwanza atafute apeane tu mwili ya huyu msichana because anajua what is going on. 0723648488 Huyu ni Lucy wa Yasmin Agency yeye ndiye alipeleka huyu msichana na yeye ndiye alikuwa na, na ana anashikana na huo boss wake Sasa akiambia Lucy akiambia ule rafiki yake ambie Lucy Lucy anamwambia sasa wao dem kama mmesikiza hiyo clip by the way if you have listened to the clip mleo msichana anaeleza sasa vile alikuwa anamwambia huyo msichana anapitia shida Lucy agent anamwambia block huyo msichana anasumbua Hizo ndio reactions za ma agents wa nyama agents wa nyama wanakuanga hivyo sasa hata wewe kama kuna mtu unatafutia rafiki yako msaada kwa agent na agent anakujibu vibaya maybe anakuambia mblock ama usinisumbue ama usifanye hivi i'm here kuja share na mimi hiyo information tujaribu kukimbizana na huyu agent because our agent the, the cause of death that happened in Saudi Arabia mtu alimulilia so msichana akalia akarudishwa kwa ofisi na wakaongea wakamchukua video fake ile ya kupretend most of the time wasichana wanapeleka kwangu ofisi kama uko comfortable don't be forced juu wanaenda wanakuwa prepared psychologically anaambiwa no there is no problem you can smile una force you to make video hata kama una smile and you are suffering that is what happened to that lady mwenye alikuwa atwamtoi kidney they took her to the office wakaongea they made a video of her wakamdanganya kuna mtu anaongea kutoka embassy ya Kenya wakamrudisha the same house so siku kidogo tasikia tu mambo imeharibika simply because of these agents agents wanatakanga ile video ya show off ile video ya show off ndio ukikuja kusema hapo wanasema this like mom ni kurobokwa na robokwa anadanganya look at this video because huyu mwanamke alinyamaza jina la ofisi yako anataka kupeana ameona sasa ameletwa kwa mtandao ndio anaanza kushia tu videos twenye alikuwa amechukua wakitesa huyo msichana na huyo tajiri wake. Ati ndio huyo alikuwa anaongea kwa ofisi. Ndio huyo alikuwa anaongea. Huwa wanafichanga hizo videos for show off. Wakati kimeumana mtu anasema I was right I, I did a follow up. So anaweza sasa hizi anapeana ana dates zenyewe msichana alikuwa anaomba msaada. I intervened. Now she is dead. She is hiding. Anapeleka watu wa familia hivi hivi. Mtu anatoka kutoka Kakamega hadi Nairobi anajificha anasema niko mbali. Waze wengine wenye walienda na, na yeye kukutana na wao ati anawapeleka kwa hoteli. Pesa sio kila kitu. If you are an agent, somebody has died because of you, you are just kupeleka watu wa, wa, wa u, 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 tumbo. Na kuna watu wengine wanakuanga nyumbani, siyo wanakuanga aje. Watu wengine wako nyumba najua ule mama ya ule msana na baba yake wanahangaika huko village. Kuna watu wengine wanakuanga wanashikana na ma agent njaa tu inawasumbua tu wako tu na njaa wako na njaa mtu anaenda anashikana na agent wanaanza kwa i've seen this i also did saw this last time wakati mtu amekufia golf kuna wale muda mtu mwenye ako na smartphone wa village anashikana na agent anakula kula anashiba na matanga ikisha bado utaishi njaa so agent sasa ameanza nikupea tu eh hey, nikuwapatia tu, tu sasa pesa forgetting that this msichana alikuwa anamlilia mpaka anaambia marafiki zake wa mblock ndio asipeane cases kweli kabisa sister pia mimi natafuta mwili ya Rosemary Martin please you unatanitafuta when you, you give me details last time i remember i did the case of Christine Getanda mwenye alikufia Lebanon a family member alishikana na agent hivi 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 anakula kwa mahoteli kubwa kubwa na agent mpaka the last minute saizi huyu pia kimenini huyu pia wanaona wengine wameanza kukula 
we, we come from different families people don't love each other unaona mtu mwenzako ameaga huyu kwa hapo tu kitu unatanguliza mbele ni tumbo umekuwa ukikula na nini umekuwa ukikula na kifo ya huyu msichana we need to stand firm we need to stand for our fellow sisters we need to stand together so that mtu asikuja ati oh nimetumana pesa ya matanga nyumbani kwao so what unaenda kum sasa utamfufua uta, uta ni mtu mwenye amelia siku zote kwa mtandao analia anasema ambia lusi sina namba siwezi kumpigia anaambiwa na uki, uki, ukifikiria at the right information itafikia the right person anasema block huyo asikusumbue block huyo asikusumbue imagine hivyo ndio watu wanakuanga na shida unapata uko tu messenger this is not the first case nimeona kwa messenger kuna msichana mwingine alikaa Saudi Arabia miaka nane. Alikuwa anatumia tu messenger peke yake. I thank God she reached home. Tulikuwa tunamuongelea alikuwa anaitwa Sylvia. Alikuwa anatumia tu messenger peke yake. Imagine uamini tu useme maybe natumia hii messenger niambie tu like mom juu ana kuanga Facebook. Anaezaambia agent wangu. Alafu sasa wewe unaona umepatia mtu the right person. Jua alipatia rafiki yake akamwambia ambia Lucy agent wetu wa Yasmin agency niko na hii shida. So yeye alikuwa anapewa hizo information anaambia ule rafiki yake mblock. Mkis if you are doubting what I'm saying you can just go to this link. You just listen to yourself. Hata wewe msichana anapatiana first hand information. Anamwambia mblock ipo ndio agent wanafanya. So sasa zile unafikiria umepatia mtu information itafika kwa the right person usaidike una block. Wajuu akwa na simu angempigia. Alikuwa tu kwa messenger peke yake. Alikuwa tu kwa messenger peke yake na akwa anafikia huyo Lucy. Lakini saa hizi Lucy ukisikia tu vile anasema, anajionyesha onyesha kwa media anasema oh I'm cooperating. Lakini ukienda kwa ground family wamefiki. So ameanza kushikana na watu wa kando kando. Awashike tumbo autashika kila mtu tumbo we need to stand with this lady this is a young lady She's, she was young and promising 30 years old na hata hana hata familia hana mtoto then uko pale tu sasa umeshaanza kulisha watu wa kijiji keep taking advantage of this family which is not good ni mtoto wao amekufa lakini sasa wengine wameshaenda kuomba chakula o tunalia tuko kwa matanga You don't know this, what this lady went through. Analia anasema ninalia siku mzima sipewi chakula. Kimwana mke changine kiko kwa ofisi kimekaa tu kinaendelea na kazi. Ataki kujua because she's busy looking for new clients. Our my agencies if your agency is not responsible we have to expose you mpaka ukose. Huyu mama ofisi yake iko Moi Avenue. Inaitwa Faza House Fourth Floor. Yasmin agency anaitwa madam Lucy Unaweza jipata siku moja kwa hiyo mlango ukitafuta kazi ujue tu hakuna vile utasaidiwa You can listen to what that lady is explaining hiyo ofisi ukipata na shida unafikishwa kwa hiyo ofisi unatandikwa unarudishwa So this lady alikuwa amejieleza mpaka ule akamwambia ni kama huyu msana amerudi kwa na akili lakini alikuwa na jojo yeye alikuwa anasema anapewa data ya bure mbona na mbona na mbona na complain Alikuwa anapewa data abnormal. So hata wewe unaanza shtuka tu. Data abnormal upate tu kama umepata tu data kama ni 50 GB kila siku. Sio yeye alikuwa anashangaa kwa nini? So ndio hao watu wakaanza kusema unajua wewe umefanya mistake. I think ni kizingizio walikuwa namtafuta ndio wamumalize. Ati sasa umeshare account yetu that is why unapewa data nyingi kila siku. Wali George anapewa data nyingi kila siku. Ndio sasa akawaambia simu stopishe basi akasema hapana you have shared our account to the public. Yaani ni kitu walikuwa namtafutia kumzingizia wakiona hujasoma vizuri. Kwa naweza kukuwekea kitu yenye hata ieleweki. Ni wote hizo messages vile alikuwa anaziandika zieleweki. Kwa umesikia mtu anaitwa Google Google Media Discover. Hivyo ndio kitu walikuwa nasema na hiyo kisungio saa zingine inachanganya. Nasi anasema agent ali block family ya Rosemary mpaka saa hii hakuna kuongea. Nivo, that is the reactions. The moment mtu wenu amekufa huwa ana, wana wa block. Na anataka kuambia mtu akikufia kwa contract hakuna pesa inafaa kuchangwa ati ni ya kuleta mwili. Boss ndiye anatoa mwili. That is for the contract. The moment agent anaandika kama huyu msana alikufia kwa boss 
huyu Lucini kuandika tu barua tu kwa Foreign Affairs wa, wa connect na Empress ya Saudi Arabia and then mwili itasafirishwa nyumbani so kwa familia itatafuta pesa ya kuchukua mwili kutoka maybe Nairobi kwenda nyumbani Kakamega Juni najua kuna agents wengine pia wanatekia families advantage unasikia family naomba 600,000 700,000 na mtu amekufia kwa contract. Mtu akikufia kwa contract, hiyo ni gharama ya boss. No wanda unaona watu wengine wanaumizwa kwa boss anaweza piwa uumie, umebakisha tu dakika kidogo ukufe lakini anahakikisha amekupandisha ndege ukufie nyumbani. Juu wanajua gharama ya kusafirisha mwili is very expensive. So inakuanga saidi ya boss, na kuanga saidi ya boss. That is why most of the ladies unapata wakati wao wanatupwa nje. Wanatupwa nje, boss anasema alikufia nje nyumba yangu so familia yake ishughulike mtu anaweza kuwa wanakatukwa nje kufunika ukweli so that boss asigaramike lakini kama huyu boss alishasema msichana amejinyonga kwa bafu tumempeleka mochari na mbona asisema wamempeleka mochari gani because now something is not adding up because mwili wenyewe hata uonekani the body is missing And then mama mwingine yeye kwa ofisi anaendelea na kazi. Familia sasa ule mama, ule msana vile alikuwa anaeleza mama yangu akona blood pressure. Hakuwa anataka kumstress, alipitia shida akivumilia. People go through a lot. Ju alikuwa anataka tu mazuri kwa familia yake. So sio mtu angejinyonga tena. Nimejaribu wakati mpaka huko kuote but wapi afyaza kuna watu wanasaidia wacha nikuambie agent akiona uko peke yako au kusaidia yangi au agent wenye wanakuamilia wana miili mnafaa kuwaleta tunawasalimia tuna hapa hivi ndio wanze ku act vitu zingine mtu akiona uko peke yako anaona kama anakushinda because most of the agents wanasema we are above law we are above the law Ina tena sema may God in heaven see us see for his may the young girl rest in easy. Amen. Agents nakwambia wanachangana wanakuanga above the law. Na hakuna kitu unawafanyia lakini tutajaribu kuwasukuma penye tunaweza as the Lakman family we have to try our best. So that hata mtu akienda kupigania reputation ameshaanza kupaka paka majirani pesa 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 so that yasema ah ule mama ni mzuri alitulisha wakati wa matanga ulikuwa wapi ungesaidia huyu msichana pia au moke asaidie kijiji yote na kwa nini saizi ni, mata, ni majirani watatajirika na sio familia na pesa iwezi inunua maisha ya mtu so we are not going to allow agents to take advantage of the the weak we want to stand together as a family We need to save lives and we need to make this world a better place for everyone. Hakuna agent atakuwa na take advantage. Kama uko na shida, umeambia agent akakublock. Unitafute. Unakuja kwa inbox yangu unaniambia na uwe uko na evidence. Agent kuna agent anakutumia anakutumia matusi alafu ana delete. Usingoje a delete. Agent akikutumia matusi forward kwa rafiki yako so that uwe uko na copy wako na maneno mtu anakuandikia anga anakujibu vibaya then ana delete from both sides so ukianza kuelezea mtu anakuuliza wapi evidence unapata una evidence kama agent anakutusi amekublock let what dunia ijue the type of agent we have tunamleta na namba yake tunaiweka hivi anaonekana vile ni mchafu kutoka kwa mdomo mpaka akili ndio watu tunaweza saidia tusingoje Wewe na sinasiru ni pay information ya kutosha. Kujaribu. Kila kitu ni kujaribu. So we don't need to keep quiet. So huyo msichana ameelezea vile huyo msichana na yeye ndiye alijaribu kuniambia nikasema wa agents pia wanachangianga vipo. Agents wanachangianga vipo kabisa. Kuna agents wana cooperate. Kuna agents wana cooperate unamwambia tu iko hivi anasema let me do a full up anafanya sasa hiyo hiyo na unaona mtu anasaidika because wako na power lakini hao wengine sijui wamekunywa damu sijui sijui wanakaaje wewe ziona mtu wako anateseka alafu ukubali arudi the same house like the kid ni girl sasa ule agent anasema me above the law 
fedha ya kujua finish ya contract na wewe unakubali unatoka unapeleka hadi kwa ofisi tena unarudi kwa the same house usikubali afadhali urudishe nyumbani hakuna shida hakuna ubaya wewe kurudi nyumbani my sisters hakuna ubaya wewe kurudi nyumbani kule mchanga you won't die umeenda Saudi Arabia ukiwa 30 years umeenda Saudi Arabia ukiwa 25 50 40 umekuwa ukikula nini rudi nyumbani uzoe maisha tu so long as ukuwe na amani you deserve better you also special like anybody else because watu wengine watakuwa wanakutekea advantage wewe utaenda hapo umie mu wengine watakajirika so ukiona umerudishwa kwa ofisi na kuna watu wanaogopa sasa like mom na hii Kenya imekuwa ngumu unataka mimi nirudi nyumbani nataka kutafutiwa nyumba unachomewa kwa nyumba ya pili au utakaa na amani ni 1% wanakuanga na amani kwa nyumba za pili. Juu lazima ule boss mwenye anakuchukua wa pili apeane, apewe information ya boss wa kwanza. So watakuwa na kusengenya na utapewa pressure. Utapewa pressure hata utashindwa kupumua. Ukijipata kwa ofisi rudi nyumbani. Hakuna ubaya kurudi nyumbani. There is nothing. Ujaua mtu kwani ule huwa nani ndio ukatoroka. Go home. Home is the best. So long as you stay under pressure. Ni sasa si kwenye uta utakufa utasikia imagine kama ni wewe uko na shida alafu uko kwa ofisi na uko na plan ya kurudi kwa hiyo nyumba boss anakuwekea pressure anataka urudi kwa hiyo nyumba na uone kenye huyu msana amefanya huyu msana alibebwa kutoka kwa hiyo nyumba akapelekwa kwa ofisi akafanyiwa video wakamrecord wakatumia losi wakamrudisha wakati watu, watu wengine wanaendelea na christmas ule anateseka na lia njaa anakaa njaa the whole day anafanya kazi akimaliza wanamfungia kwa room I think walikuwa ni kitu walikuwa wamemsetia tu walitaka kumwangaisha. They got what they wanted. So sisi tuko hapa tunahangaika. Watu wengine wamesha beba tumbo, wanasema wako njaa. Watu wache mchezo. Pesa ya girl kwa ipatikani kwa urahisi. Kuna watu wengine kuna majirani wengine sio wazuri. Wanataka tu mtu akikufa waende tu waanze kusema wako na njaa. Kwani mlikuwa mnakulanga nini kitambo? Nasikia tu vibaya sana kwa sababu inaniumiza this family they have not gotten help. Some people wa, wanakula, wanakula kwa sababu ya yao mtu unaenda kuomba pesa ya matanga lakini hata mtalia mpaka leni si muombe mwili. Si mnafaa kuomba mwili. Ileto juu is missing. Sasa kama mwili itapotea one year. Kwani Lucia tawalisha one year? I was a can. Okay, okay. I'm busy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Oh my god. Oh, ni tumia namba ya agent. Mbona nasema good work mama keep it up. We have to keep this one together up. Let us keep on pressing on we can make a change usiogope it doesn't i i can you go so rich to help kama mungu amekusaidia tu kidogo hata kama ni data ya 10 bob ask this person ask that the boss where is the body of this kenyan maid ask lucy what is her plan let us try to be our sister's keeper let's try to be our brother's keeper Losing somebody in a foreign land is not easy my friends. Ninajua mtu anakaa pale kwa 